Yeah, I got a gun in my neck. So a little baby recently, he's kind of been getting the, the baby treatment when it comes to his music. And I'm not going to say it's his flow, but it's the subjects he talks about in his songs. Now, if you can give me one little baby song in the comment section that doesn't talk about cars, clothes, and having more jewelry than the next nigga, then I'll consider you a superhero. Oh yeah, he likes rapping about having money too. He does that in like every song. Like every song. On a story, and he decided to switch up the flow, what do y'all think about this? Get him the fuck on out of the studio. That nigga belongs in the streets. Let that nigga go sell crack or some shit, okay? Let that nigga, that nigga go paint a house or some shit like that, okay? Let him go pick up garbage on Cleveland Ave or some shit. I got a gun in my neck. It's just been looking really rough for Lil Baby, and I know Lil Baby fans might come in the comment section and say some stuff like, oh, Lil Baby's still hard. Listen, the song with Central C was okay. But we're not really here to talk about the music. I'm really here to talk about Lil Baby's recent arrest. You know, he was on his way to go perform at James Harden's birthday. And as you know, James Harden and Lil Baby, you know, I could say they're like boyfriend and girlfriend, but that would be gay. Yo, does my nigga have a rose for James Harden, cuz? So the arrest footage, you hear Lil Baby talking. I never heard Lil Baby talk this way. He really wants this officer to search him good. Good enough to where he wants him to touch his nuts. To where he says he has a gun in his nuts, which isn't even possible to fit a gun underneath there. I'm just trying to imagine it like, um, you gotta have a very large sack. Nah, check me good, I got a gun in my nuts. Check me good, you on the camera, I got a gun in my nuts, check me good. So, you know, I probably don't gotta tell you what he got arrested for, you know, a gun. But you heard him right there, check me good. I got a gun in my nuts. He wants these officers to touch his nuts. It's not something really the typical gangster rapper would say you know they really wouldn't talk like this now he says a lot more crazy things in the arrest footage and we'll get to that later you know he even mentions that he'll blow his head off if the cops let him go in the car with the gun in his nuts you know it's just like a lot of crazy stuff going on you know what i'm saying and i think Lil baby is losing his mind and very recently a mugshot was released and i think Lil baby's still being currently held in jail but we got to get the michael rubin and this is a judgment free zone you know what i'm saying but listen Michael Rubin changed Lil Baby, and I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse. You know, after meeting Michael Rubin, Lil Baby started painting his nails, and I don't have nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't do it personally, but I'm really just pointing out the fact in this video that this guy has changed a lot. I'm going to show you something from 2018, Prime Lil Baby. He was pressing some goons in St. Louis, actually a city I live really close to. I don't live in the city because, you know, I'm not really trying to get shot. City was number one in the murder rate for a while. I don't know if it is anymore, but Lil Baby stood his ground. <laughs> and you just don't get this energy from Lil Baby no more in his music or just in person ever since the white diddy Michael Rubin did his diddy things to Lil Baby. Man, Mike. <laughs> I'm going to come hug you right now. I'm coming to hug you. Big hug. Get everyone to love each other. Fun me. When I'm drunk, you're going to get another drunken hug tonight. I don't care what anyone says. You're getting a drunken hug. You too. You two, drunken hugs are coming tonight. You see what I'm saying though? Like, Lil Baby's sitting there like a girl getting a text from her boyfriend. Oh my God! And then Meek's talking about pause. Meek, you're the last person that needs to be talking about pause. Listen, buddy. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. Yeah, once artists start reaching that 100 M's, 80 M's, 50 M's, they start doing different things than they did growing up. It's just, you know, you see it. And I'm gonna try my best not to be vulgar here, but a hug from the back. Michael Rubin is hugging Lil Baby from the back. Kuzma is in front. It kind of looks like an Oreo here, except Kuzma is light-skinned. He's not white. Rubin has his crotch against Lil Baby's bottom, hugging him from the back. Now, if you ask Lil Baby from 2018, I bet if you showed him this picture right here, he'd probably be like, man, what the fuck is that, man? So then that brings me to the arrest footage. Now, Lil Baby has never talked this way in his life. He's talking in a way that is different. 
and I've noticed it and you guys are gonna notice it too I'm gonna show you guys the full video and something is wrong with little baby hey I need 20 bands call the number for me hey security the black guy call the number for me they locking me up for a gun but I got license security security fuck your job I need 200 bands a year I swear to god security security I need 200 bands a year you don't make 200 bands here. So he's talking to a security guard off cam, and this isn't the weird part I'm talking about, but he's saying he would give him 200 bands a year, and I gotta talk about this. I looked up the annual salary of a security guard in Las Vegas, that's where they're at. 42 to $43,000 a year, right? On God, my nigga, I'm quitting my job on the spot. Little baby, what do you need, bro? 200 bands a year. 200 bands a year is a lot of money, and all he wants is a phone call? Just help him out with a phone call? Oh my God, fuck this job, but... Let's get to when Lil Baby spices up the talking a little bit. Hey, my check, my check leave at 19 on the We back to LA. We changed part of birthday. I got a show tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's his birthday. I know you guys are out here. We came here for his birthday. Oh, okay, okay. You know, I came here with my sister, so I had a big night. I ain't sure about it. Take my pants down. I don't want to do that. Nah, I don't want to do that. I said we could. If I go to jail with a gun, yeah. So like scientifically, I don't think you could put a gun in your nuts. You should have said under my nuts. But you would have had to have like the Abraham Lincoln killer, that little small ass pee pee pew pew shooter. And little baby, I don't think you got one of those on you. That gun's from like the 1800s. You probably got something at a decent size. I don't even think the Incredible Hulk could fit a, you know, normal size gun underneath his nutsack. So I think you just want the cops to touch your nuts. And look how he gets all up in the cop's face like, check me good. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. I got a gun. Alright, y'all let me that costume. I said, man, y'all fire. I'ma quote him real quick. I'ma shoot myself in the head when I get in the car. Would you look at that little baby acting like a little fucking baby? I really don't get it. The cops already found the gun he was getting arrested for. Apparently, he had another gun on him. He didn't have another gun on him. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted the cops to really touch his nuts. I've never seen anyone go this far to have someone, well, to have cops search them. Not only search them, but to flick up on that sack a little bit. Like, god damn, little baby, you changed a lot. Michael Rubin, I truly blame you. Like, definitely. 